things I notice is like everyone's like from all over the world and we all like come together just to like hang out and have fun and worship. It's, it's just really amazing because we, we are here from everywhere in America and it's where we're all one person basically. We're all the same in Christ. It's been said that no one is a self-made person. We all draw strength and especially spiritual strength from each other. For our youth attending the National Catholic Youth Conference, they're surrounded and united with more than 20,000 other believers from across the country. For our pilgrims from the Diocese of Greensburg, they had the opportunity to begin the conference with some time bonding at Dave & Buster's. After that, they explored the thematic park, an area featuring exhibitors, Christian musicians, and opportunities to grow closer together and have some fun. Then they joined with other young people from Pennsylvania and New Jersey for the Region 3 Mass. At the liturgy, they were reminded to draw close to each other and draw strength from each other as they grow as believers. I hope that as you look around this room today, that you too find great strength in knowing that you're not alone in standing up for what's right and standing up for your faith in living as you know that God wants you to live, reading that wonderful law that God has etched on your hearts, reacting to that conscience that he's given to each one of you, that you know that your brothers and sisters are standing by you as well. That's one of the wonderful things about this NCYC. Our youth said that hearing this message and coming together with so many other believers really helped them to understand what it means to be the body of Christ. All the dioceses from Pennsylvania and New Jersey were one in that Mass. We were like just one family. Uh, we all have the same faith and that means that we could all have a great, a great way of communicating with one each other. But we all know how to uh, interact with each other and know how to uh, have the same faith with each other and work with each other in be worshiping the Christ and do what, doing what God wants us to do. Like to be all together and that's what it kind of feels like in here because everybody is like all, we're all doing the same thing, we're all having fun. But NCYC is so great because we're all being here together and we're all being the body of Christ in one big place and you can see how big the body is and it's not just you and it's not just your parish. Uh, we are one because there are so many Catholic teens right now in one building and we're just having a blast. We're all one so it kind of makes sense whenever they say that we are the body of Christ the whole church. It's so much fun because you feel so connected to people that you never met before. Being part of the body of Christ uh, is all about uh, spreading his word and his message and uh, living the way that he told us to. Um, it's nice with a gathering like this, everybody seems to be uh, a part of that. Everybody seems to want to do that, uh, to be a part of the body of Christ. And they say this fellowship is something they'll continue well beyond this three-day conference. Even though we might not be in the Lucas Oil Stadium, we're still the body of Christ. We're still one big family. We'll be one by, like, texting or Snapchatting or just going to church. We'll keep in touch. Things can be loud, crazy, and a little goofy here sometimes at NCYC, but our youth say that the experiences have led them to moments of quiet reflection where they've made some important realizations, and they say it will change the way that they approach their faith and live their life after returning home. Every single trip, retreat, NCYC two years ago, it always makes a change. I think I'm going to... When I go back home, I'm going to live my life differently because I'm going to open my heart to more things. Because when I first came here, I, was, I wasn't really, I mean, I was excited to come, but I was a little, like, closed, I closed my heart a little bit. So when I go home, I think I'm going to open my heart more to what Jesus is trying to tell me. I think I'd certainly try harder to live more the way Christ wants us to because uh, I certainly feel that that's the overall message for this weekend.